how do we compute these two limits with our calculator? Well, you see that the first one is the limit as x approaching positive 1, and we have the inverse tangent of x over x plus 1. The second one, we have the same function here, but we have the limit as x approaching negative 1. Let me tell you, this one is the easy one. Let's go ahead and do that first. Why? We can just go ahead and put a 1 in here and here first and see what happens. And you see, this right here is nicely equal to inverse tangent of 1 over, check this out, 1 plus 1. Okay, what's inverse tangent of 1? Well, to do that, you will have to ask yourself, tangent of what angle will give you 1? And the answer for that is pi over 4. So this right here is nice d equal to pi over 4. And on the bottom, 1 plus 1, of course. 2. So, you see, we get a nice answer here, and that's it. So of course, we can simplify it. So just multiply uh, the 4 and 2 together on the bottom, so we get pi over 8. And then we are done. Yeah, just like that. Remember, if we end up with a nice number here, and that will be our nice answer, that's it. But now for the second one though, if we put negative 1 into here and here, we are going to get inverse tangent of negative 1 over 1 plus 1, but ne sorry, negative 1 plus 1, right here, huh? Ah, man, we end up with a 0 on the bottom, and on the top, Inverse tangent of negative 1, let me tell you, this is negative pi over 4. But here's the issue. It's not so bad, actually. We have a non-zero number over 0, so we know this right here is going to give us either positive infinity or negative infinity. But we have to be really careful because this right here is just negative 1. We do not know the direction. We do not have the direction. So that means we have to check both directions. So let's just go ahead and check both. So here we go, let's do the first one right here. So we are going to check when the limit as x approaching negative 1, let's do the positive version first, and we have the inverse tangent of x over x plus 1. So how do we do this? Put this on the top and on the bottom here, we get inverse tangent of negative 1 plus, which is just negative 1, it doesn't matter. You don't really have to worry about that, you'll see why. And then put negative 1 here. But you see, this right here is the part that gives us the 0. And then on the top right here, as I told you, it's negative pi over 4, which is a negative number. Just keep that in mind. This is the time that we have to utilize the plus or minus. This plus means that you can think of this as, as I said, we are going to take this and think about this as a number that's slightly bigger than negative 1. So you can look at this as negative. Now 1.001, that's actually smaller than negative 1. If you have negative 1 plus, this right here, take a look at that as negative 0 0.999, and so on. Now this is just a little bit bigger than negative 1. And imagine if you put this right here, negative 0.999 plus that, right? So this right here is technically the negative 1 plus, as I said earlier. You see, when we do this plus that, we don't exactly get 0. Technically, this is positive because 1 is bigger than that. So you see, on the top is negative, on the bottom is positive, negative divided by positive. This right here gives us as I told you, we know it will be infinity, but negative divided by positive is negative. So, on the left-hand side, we get negative infinity. Now, for the right-hand side, we check the limit as x approaching negative 1. Sorry, the left-hand side here. And then we have the inverse tangent of x over x plus 1. Okay, same thing. Put this in here, so we get inverse tangent of negative 1. And again, just go ahead and do that. You just have to work out the 0 plus or 0 minus when you get the 0 on the bottom, that's the key. And uh, let's put this right here, we have negative 1, negative here, plus 1. On the top is just negative pi over 4, no problem on that. But this time, when we have negative 1, negative, just think that as negative 1.0001, just like a small number, less than negative 1. And when you do this, plus 1, 
is zero but negative because this is uh, you know, more negative than that, so it's that. This time, negative divided by negative, we get positive. So we have positive infinity. So what does this mean? The right limit and also the left limit, they are not equal, unfortunately. So this right here, I will just have to erase this and I will tell you this limit doesn't exist. And the reason is because the limit when we approach it from the right, it's not the same when we approach it from the left. Yeah. Maybe I should have put this down on the left first, <laughs> but I don't know. But it doesn't really matter. And that's it. If you guys need more help, check out my other videos for it. Yeah? That's it.